morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Asori Loaded and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, let's just see. Let's just flip and see. Dropped his third studio album titled Zulu Man with some power. I was very, 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 very much anticipated. 20 tracks, the boy did not disappoint. Let's see if this album is it. Never in a million years. That could happen. Never. Let's review. So the album kicks off. It gives us a phenomenal song, which has been on the repeat ever since the album came out. Kinch it. Set it up. I mean, this song, <laughs> mm. it gives me a vibe like Nessie is in a debate with himself because it's just like he's talking to himself. He's kitchen, No, it gives me that point because Nessie, this song is truly. If you don't make this a single, well, I wouldn't be mad, but I, I could see why. But. Child, whenever you put king in a title, it's that. Like, on strings of ding. King was my favorite song. And now I do think this might be my favorite song on this album. But this album is too good to pick my favorite edit. Then we move on to Steve Biko. I mean, this is a trap infused song. And Necessi is resembling himself as the new Steve Biko. Which I do think it's a nice resemblance. But I don't know. Uh, it's a grower. Uh, it's not really a song which I really listen to currently, but we don't know as the future what the future holds. And then the album carries on, it moves on to the third track, which is titled That's Hot. I, I, do, I have to say, That's Hot is not really m the most memorable song on this album. I don't know, but for me, I don't think it's like the most memorable song on this album. I don't think it's something which we just randomly play in my head. Go to Overpriced Steak. I think I do think NSC has played alongside this sound before on Bad Hair. I think with Phases and Good Girls Stay at Home. They give me that vibe. I don't know if I'm reaching, but they do give me that vibe. Of a pie steak, um, well, we do know if you're not really speaking about steak at this point, but if you know, you know. So, and uh, is it the most memorable track on the album? Mm, no, then we go into feelings. Let me tell you something if a song is titled Feelings, I have never, ever, ever, ever in my entire life in an album heard a song titled Feelings and it's not really nice. Every person who has a song titled Feelings in an album, it, 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 it's instantly a personal favorite because it speaks and it has a nice beat. Usually it's up tempo. It's not really something which is um, sad. It's up tempo, but it's, it, it truly speaks, which is not different here in the Remember Some Powers because Nessie did really did something with feelings and it's truly my personal fan favorite because I just, I don't know if I bought the title or it's just because I am a, a fan of Lumen Powers, you know? We move on to La Vida Loca. Six songs in and this album doesn't have any features as yet. Legendary. And then we move on to La Vida Loca. La Vida Loca is... Another song which I do think it's not really the most memorable song on this, on this album. It's very much trap infused and... Is it my most played song? Oh, my most favorite song on this album? No, I don't think so. Then we move on to Zone. Yeah, yeah, Zone so tell me, you know. First time I heard this album, I listened to this album as in full, Zone really stuck out. Zone stuck out. I don't wanna lie, Zone just stuck out from the rest of the album. I couldn't even continue listening to the whole album because I was stuck repeating Zone. We have Teller Man on the hook. 
That song is undoubtedly a hit. It's undoubtedly a hit. Nasty C and Talamay know how to bring together and make gracious music for us to bless thy ears, dear man, dear sir. So, lovely do 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 zone, 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 the Talamay and Nasty C and, you know, it's an amazing song. I do think you should listen to it and bless thy ears. As we have a song title, how many times? How many times? How many times? Um, it gives me pop, not hip hop elements, and it infuses a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of greatness in the sound. It, but it does sound something. It does sound like something I've heard before. It sounds very, very familiar. Is it the most memorable song on the album? No, it's not. And then we go to the great, the great song title. Easy. Well, after a poem. The singles he chose for this album, there they go and easy, were not really a misleading singles for this album. It truly projected the directly and it's kept rapidly, if that's even a word, for this album. Because and then we have a TI collaboration yet again with Nessie. Uh, it's only titled All In. Um, <clears throat> why is this needed? Nope. Is it a personal favorite? Nope. Is it the least favorite? Yep. I don't know why. I'm not really connecting with the song. I'm not really feeling the song. I don't know. It just doesn't connect with me. Lose some, win some. Lose some, win some. Lose some, win some. The song is. I, I do think it's a filler track on the album because it's 1 minute and 30 seconds and. Uh, I don't know why Nestesi makes this song so short, but I wanted more on Lusam Winsam because it speaks about. I think most people have experienced this when you lose something, but because you have to lose it in order to give the other thing. And with Nestesi speaking and giving us emphasis in every line, I do think it's one of the most memorable songs on this album. And then we go on to Sideboard. I think it's a song which necessarily speaks more about his past and it truly is a song where you can just feel from as the title says as you listen to it initially it just gives you a mood where you just reflect and like the bad stuff that's happening in life and everything. It truly is uh, no, I don't know if it's even it. I don't think it's that it has that much replay value. And then we go into my personal favorite, black and white. It is a favorite, a favorite uh, and uh, this song needs to be a single. It needs to be a single because it just gives you a full good vibe, a full good vibe, an easy vibe. The beat and the way this is used delivery on this song is honestly a favorite. It's really one of the most memorable songs on the album. So if you have not listened to this song, bless thy ears, child. Bless thy ears. And we see Rolling appearing yet again on the album because you know they gave us SMA but now they give us the puppet which is totally different child from SMA. This is SMA and 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 this song Deep Pockets um Faces and SMA they kinda have a similar vibe but Deep Pockets it really is something different. It projects a different textography if that's in a word but it truly is something which you should bless thy ears if you haven't heard it child. Before Rollins verse, I was like so confused what the song was going to. It was giving me, I don't know, some African vibes on African city. But when Rolling came in, it just became easy and it moved and, and connected with me because I was so confused with all the drugs going on. I was like, child, are we really going with something which is really comfortable? I don't know. But we don't need it. It's Zulu with some powers. Are you really giving us powers at this point? But. Rolene came and saved the entire song with her mostly beautiful and easily vocals. Truly is. And then we go on to Buku Bucks. Buku Bucks, it thinks it's a song about money because it features Lil Gotti and Lil K. 
kid. If you know what this couscous is. It's a couscous song and personally it's not really one of my favorites of this on this album and I understand why Palm Trees is after this song because Palm Trees Palm Trees is another song which I didn't really connect with it. It was too mm, I won't say fast but it was too upbeat and it just projected traps from the get-go and going out. And Gideon, Gideon, Gideon! You know, so another thing, and then we go into the title track on the album Zulu Man. Zulu Man, as you have possibly seen it, I'll send that reaction check it out, chat because it is oh, amazing. Zulu Man is the song which I connected with. Let's just see rapping in his own narrative language, proving people because people would just say Let's just see can't really rap in his narrative language, but I have to say. I saw the confidence. There's something when SSC raps in English, you can hear the confidence in the song. But when he raps in his own narrative language, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying that the confidence is different. It's just not really that much stature and that much presence in the verses. But I have to say, the verses were very in your face and they were very relatable in some points. I have to applaud the man on rapping in his narrative language. We need more of that. And truly is Zulu Man, although it's a filler track on the album, but shout out to you. And then we move on to a song titled Ababulali. Ababulali, I do think it's a song where Nastasi is speaking about his parents at some point because it's a sample of something. I've heard this song somewhere. It's a sample of something. The chorus is a sample of something. And it really is an emotional song which connects with you emotionally and spiritually and you just it gives you and it just gives you, you phases in your head and gives you moments where you can not just ignore them but you have to face them you know Ababulali is really is one of the most memorable songs on the album and you have to see singing cha 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 you know and speeding at the same time three minutes and 30 seconds long we have to stand the song is truly one of the favorites on this album and then we have the also great, the also mighty, the first official single of this album titled There They Go. There They Go was released as the first official single of this album and I have to say it really really brought me back to NSDC and it really made me very anticipating about the album because when the song came I was just like oh we back to strings and bring hella because something happened they don't a song which we have spoken about about Black Lives Matter and being black so with T.I. Another song which I do think has on the album. So that's the 20 songs of uh, Zulu Man with some powers. Please comment down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this album. Is it really a hit or maybe it's a miss? But let me tell you something. This song truly deserves it. Let's see how many songs do I actually like on this album. And um, King Shit. Um, let's move. Feelings. Zong, Easy, Lose Some, Win Some, Black and White, Deep Pockets, Zulu Man, Ababulali, There I Go, Nato. 10 out of 20. That's why it's a hit. So please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And if you have any other recommendations, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to watch and react to them. But in the meantime, I'll catch you on the next one. Make sure that you should stream this album and bless thy ears if you have not heard it so me master reloaded all i'm saying is thank you and please come again